Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Cami, and this is Cami's Fluid Energy Healing Arts. I am an energy healer, clairvoyant energy channel, crystal Reiki master, intuitive card reader, light worker, earth keeper, and Andromedan starseed. Today we're having a live session on Discord. So we're gonna get started with that. Okay. My internet appears to be flashing in and out. Hi, Inga. Um, I am recording this with my phone, kind of behind the screen here. So we have three of us in here, four of us all together, and I do have the wheel set up for the giveaway. Um, if you can't hear or see me, can you flip your camera on and let me know? All good? Good, good, good. Perfect. Hi, Sangeeta. <laughs> All right. Hi, Inga. All right. Okay, so we're going to get started. I'm sorry, I had my son come in here and just double check because it seems like the internet's being really spotty. Um, but we're plugged in with the ethernet, so we're about as good as we're going to get. And I guess the boys wanted to both come say hi. Ah. Yeah. So Jojo says hello. Okay. We're going to get started. Are you staying? You're staying? All right. Um, back up. Back, back. Back, back. Thank you. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. Thank you. Okay, so in this morning in preparation for this, um, I, um, I drew some cards, shuffled some cards and drew some cards, and the first card that I got was for the Visionary Plexus. Um, these are some handmade cards that I have, that I do for Reiki, so all these cards are Reiki symbols or different things like that, or the plexus things that we're working with. Um, so we're going to be working with the visionary plexus today. And I'm just going to, we are going to do some codes. So before we check in, I kind of want to read this to you because I don't like to read a lot when I'm in the meditation zone. So Zora will assist us with this. So the visionary plexus and um, is at the rear base of the skull internally. It's next to the cerebellum. Um, and these codes are from Damien Hay. Um, I know I have his links in the room where the seven endocrine glands for the purification codes. So that's there. And again, if anything happens that you can't hear or see me, please flip your camera on and wave me, okay? Um, all right, so. Uh, the effect of the purification code is going to be to increase um, if you're journeying or meditating it's going to increase your mental and your physical balance during that time um, it's going to clear the images for you so they're more clear so you can see them um, and it's going to clear clean and purify your ancestral lineage which is very interesting because the second card that i got today is this so, it's a unicorn card and it's uncording relationships. Unconditional love relationships are not um, tethered in a way that it's a cord. Okay, those are natural connections and you don't have to break them. And when you're cutting cords, you don't have to worry about breaking them. Okay. Um, the first level will, the first level uh, activation code, oh, we have somebody else. Um, will ground you to receive the next levels and there are four levels um, it's going to open your psychic channels which I happen to know that several of you in here already are uh, in the process of that it's going to um, assist with releasing ancestors that are stuck in unforgiveness, whether they're still living or whether they've passed and they may be kind of trapped in hanging out. And if so, they may be connected to your energy. 
okay? Um, so this is going to provide ancestral DNA uh, releases from any um, charges or contracts that you have to anything ancestral, okay? You may or may not become aware of what's happening. There is absolutely no need to become aware of these things releasing. They will just release. And I, by the way, did not know what we were doing today before I drew the cards this morning. Um, so the second level is going to assist, again, with attached ancestors, beings, and entities. Um, basically, it's going to tap deep into the root chakra and work on releasing fears. And these may be fears of your ancestors have of passing into source light. Um, it's going to remove any karmic charges of suicide, whether that's ancestral, whether that's been in your lifetime. Um, this tends to be cyclical and will keep popping up until it's overcome. Um, it's also going to purify and activate the eight marvelous vessels in your meridian system. I don't work a lot with the meridian system publicly, just privately for my own healing. Um, but there's a ton of information out there on that, and you can Google that. So the third level is going to recall, reawaken all of your past live initiations. So wherever you've been, say you were Atlantean, um, any initiations that you had in that lifetime are going to be a reawaken because we carry all these little things forward with us into our current lifetime. So everything that you're gaining now, all these little gems or golden nuggets um, that you're accruing and acquiring and opening in your soul level, get carried with your soul to the next iteration. So this is going to reawaken those initiations in this lifetime. It's going to balance both hemispheres of your brain, um, which you can consider balancing your masculine and your feminine, your light and your dark, um, everything that kind of makes the world go round. We need the opposites for movement, for change. This is going to regulate and clear your pituitary gland, um, activate all of your psychic channels. You hear me talk about this a lot in videos. Um, it will also neutralize any heavy metals or DNA implants. It will seal and heal your aura field to the atmic body level. Again, these are things you can Google, you can look up. I may or may not have information about that here on Discord. Um, and at the fourth level, the final level for this is going to purify all ESP channels, visionary channels, so that you can receive your inner visions clearly. I know that I've heard from some of you directly that this is a problem that you're not seeing. Um, and I'm going to talk about that in a second. This is going to, as we talked about in the third level, it's going to remove implants from all parts of all of your bodies. And it's going to close any leaks in your personality body. Okay. So, basically we have some words that we'll say three times out loud together, and we'll get to that. Um, the one thing I want to say, before I get into meditation, I'm doing a lot of talking. Um, the one thing I'm going to say about what you see. Um, sometimes when we're channeling, we say, I see this. Um, and we use see to express... Um, what we're receiving, okay? Um, this may or may not be an actual visual image that we're seeing in our mind. Sometimes it looks like a movie. Sometimes it's impressionistic symbols. Sometimes it's feelings in the body. Um, sometimes you're hearing something come in as a repeated phrase and you say, I see. Okay, so your expectation of seeing can limit your receiving. If you're expecting to see something pop up out in front of you, that's not where it happens. I mean, occasionally it happens that way. I do see things in front of me. But oftentimes it's in the mind's eye, or it's like um, if I have my eyes closed, sometimes with my eyes open, I'll see an actual kind of a mini movie playing. Hold on one second. Pups, shh, go lay down. Go lay down. Um, Okay, um, who was the last one that hopped in here? Oh, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. I'm going to put you in the little drawing. Um, 
we'll do a, I have a little wheel here, so I'm trying to get everybody's name in there that comes in. <laughs> Um, okay, so the other two cards that I got, I just got dragon and unicorn cards, and I'm really excited with them. They're a lot of fun. So the other two cards that I got are the dusky pink dragon from Andromeda, and that prepares all your chakra chakras to embody higher love, um, accept and radiate higher love, and touch others with this dusky pink flame okay and I also got this dark blue galactic dragon which Mariah might recall um, helps you listen to the voice of the universe ignites the codes of your master blueprint and helps you access cosmic wisdom and enter higher service that all goes in line with cutting these karmic contracts and cords. And the color card that we've got today is mauve, and that assists with all your psychic channels. Um, it focuses in specifically on seeing and hearing. Uh, there's a technique to do with this. If you feel like you can't hear something clearly, you can imagine mauve rays coming in from one ear and clearing out that ear and having it pass through the other ear out into a cleansing fire. And then you repeat that process, mauve rays coming in through the opposite ear, traveling through and clearing that space and coming out into a cleansing fire on this side. I use that quite frequently if the message is jumbled. Okay. Um, so, we are going to come into center, which means we're going to come into center and we're going to take three deep breaths. We're going to connect in through the heart space, we're going to connect down to Mama Gaia, we're going to connect to Creator Source, and then we're going to connect here with our group and anyone else that will be watching this video later. I am recording this on my cell phone, which is not connected to the internet. It's just recording everything that's happening. Okay. Um, so if this does cut out, there will be a video later. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to come into center now. Deep breath in through the heart space. Let that fill up through the body. And we're going to release that down to Mama Gaia. Another deep breath in through the heart space. Let that fill up in the body. And we're going to release that up to Creator Source. Deep breath in through the heart space. Allow that to fill up in the body. Then we're going to release that to our group here. As we're doing this, we're going to call in all of our spirit guides, our healed loved ones, our galactic families. We're also going to invite in our spirit animals at this point. If you work with dragon energy, dragon energy is usually stored in your heart chakra. So you may want to call forth any dragon spirit energy that you have right now. And 
And if you're working with the unicorn energy, you might want to trace that onto your palms. Now I know several of you have been attuned. And then you can activate that on your third eye as well. There's a lot of releasing right there. There's a very strong activation in the heart space right now. Not a solar plexus opening right now. Specifically the gold star chakra. Which is set right between your solar plexus and your heart chakra. This would be your direct connection to your Pleiades. Right now, I'd like to take you really quickly through the um, DNA activation codes for the visionary plexus. Okay, I'll show you that again. I know Sharon came in a little bit late. Again, this is being recorded on my phone, so this will come up um, as a video after I get it edited, probably tomorrow. So if this cuts out or you missed anything, it'll all be recorded. Oops. Okay, so our purification code is VE CRUS. We're going to say that together three times, and as you do, you're going to breathe that into your DNA and into your cells. And this is going to clear and purify the visual images that you can get, as well as purifying your ancestral lineages. I'm not going to read through all those every time, but just this one so you recall what we were doing, okay? So three times ve cruz. Ready? Breathing into your cells. Kumai kaya shantaya shiparyasa kaya shampotaya sham. And we're gonna add in this. Also in this bowl today. I have let's see if you guys can see that. Um, rose quartz and ruby and sapphire. Seven pieces of the ruby and sapphire for the internal chakras. And then the rose quartz. Um, I've had a mantra coming to me the last week or so. It's a repeating mantra, um, which is along the lines of, I receive only unconditional purified love. I release all that is not love, and I send purified universal love light um, part of that went out on instagram and up on discord so um, it's kind of been my mantra for the week so that's where we're at so hence the rose quartz all right so ve cruz ready ve cruz breathing it into your dna and into your cells Ve cruz cum kaya shetiridiyama sa kaya shambariyasa opening the vision, visionary plexus. Ve cruz cum baya shakataya shamaniya taya repa kaya shamatiya siyata taya shamaniya ka. This is hitting someone in the heart chakra. Kum baya kaya shambataya siyata taya shamaniya taya shamaniya ka. 
Your heart chakra and your visionary chakras are connected. Everything that comes in is kind of channeled through your heart space first and then transferred up into your visionary plexus. And if you're channeling and you're giving messages, then it comes out into your throat chakra. That's kind of how that works in my experience for me specifically. Okay. So the first level of activation is ba ri yu. Ba ri yu. Okay? Three times. Ba ri yu. Breathing into the DNA and the cellular level. Ba ri yu. Ba ri yu. Level two is Ksu Tai. Okay, three times into the DNA in cells. Ksu Tai. Ksu Tai. Ksu Tai. Uh, you may feel an activation in your root chakra at this point. Level three is Pnai P N Pnai Suk. Three times Pnai Suk Pnai Suk Kusambatiesha Pnai Suk Iloso Makataya Karyasha Pnai Suk Kusakayesha Maniera Diesha Usama Kayeshi Taya Sepe Diesha Mukotaya Diapasa Kayeshita and the final activation level for your visionary plexus is Prai Tsu. Prai Tsu. Three times. Breathing that into your DNA and into your cells. Okay? Prai Tsu. Prai Tsu. One of you may have just had a very strong activation in your throat chakra. Does anybody have any questions or anything like that? You can flip on your camera and throw your hand up if you have questions. You can turn on your mic. Okay, so that process there accomplished. Um, what the unicorn energy was requesting for cutting cords. That's exactly what that visionary plexus process just did. In Reiki, this is the first symbol that you learn in Yusai Reiki. This is called the Choku Rei. Um, I would like to attune everybody that's on here today to this symbol. Okay, so if you look at this symbol, I use it both directions and I trace it on my palms. And I'll go Choku Rei, Choku Rei, Choku Rei. 
and then I do it on the other palm, and I go chokure, chokure, chokure. Now what I'd like you to visualize when you see this is kind of visualize your body. Cho, ku, root chakra connecting to the crown chakra. Sacral chakra connecting to your third eye. Solar plexus connecting to your throat chakra and ending in your heart chakra. Okay? So that's how this works. And what it means is you are calling all of your power back from everywhere that it's spread out in the universe. And this is really important as sovereign beings that we call all of our power back, okay? It could be in other timelines. It could be with other people. It could be uh, spread out uh, across all timelines with other beings. But right now, in this time period for our growth, and for our releasing all that is not love and receiving only unconditional love and sending this universal unconditional love. We want to be in our full power. Yeah, so if this is you with the throat right now, I'm going to want you to take some deep breaths that come in through the back of your throat chakra. This is a very highly activated thing right now. So I want you to take a deep breath in through your the back of your throat. Let that fill up in your throat chakra. And you're just going to blow that out through your mouth. Another deep breath in through your throat chakra. Release that down to Mama Gaya now. One more deep breath in through the throat chakra. I would like you to message me directly at the end of this session. I have something else for you. Another deep breath in through the throat chakra. We're going to let this go out through our crown chakra, up through our galactic chakra to create our source. Okay? So deep breath in. There's a pretty fantastic opening happening now. For at least one of you. So what I want you to do is I want you to hold up your hands. We're going to activate these hand chakras. So I put your hands together and rub them. I want you to move them slightly apart. And you should be able to feel some energy that's moving in there. Okay. Just bring that back to your heart chakra. And the way we're going to do this attunement, we're going to seed this chokure into your heart chakra today, okay? So, with you holding your hands here, I want you to draw in Reiki energy from the back of your heart chakra into the center of your being. And right now, I'm going to see this chi ball that I'm going, that we're sharing, okay? With this symbol. You can just breathe this in into your heart space. 
If you're watching this and it is not live for you at some later time, please message me directly. And let me know that you receive the chi ball that I am sending to you now. to do to receive this is be in a meditative state and agree to receive the attunement to the chokure. This will assist you in calling back all of your power and balancing all of your chakras. Um, in one of the other Reiki systems, they have this symbol which is basically what I do on my palms when I use them both. We often use this, um, the choker ray to open and to close um, an intention. So we might have a choker ray, and then we might have a seiki, um, which is mental balance, and then we might close that with another choker ray. Okay? Still with the throat chakra, this is some labradite, some blue flash in it, some blue rainbows in it. I can see that flash there at the bottom, that's good. It's really good for the throat chakra. Interestingly, um, on my board over here, I work with earth gritting, and this has been a big week, it's been a big month for earth gritting um, with the portals that are open right now. Um, the earth chakra is located at the site of the pyramids in Egypt. Uh, so we've been working with that a lot this week. This is some kyanite. We're just gonna finish up with this throat chakra. Wherever you are in the world right now, I happen to know that we're all over the world right now. I want you to anchor this in this truth associated with the throat chakra. I would like you to anchor this into the part of the planet that you're in right now and connect it to your capital the capital of your country. If you can bring that into your vision right now, just the capital of your country. Take a deep breath in through your throat chakra. And we're just going to release truth to the land that we're grounded in right now. Okay? We're just going to release truth. All across the world right now, we represent five different countries on this stream right now. So we're calling in, activating, invoking truth in our nation, in the capital of our nation, and in the place where we stand right now, we claim them for truth. I would encourage you to call this into your meditation over the course of the next week, finishing out this month. Inviting in these dark blue galactic dragons. 
Kamasheka Dayasham and Diasa, Dayasham and Diasa, Kisan Dayasham, and these are pink Andromedan dragons. I will post in the energetic exchange the information on these cards today. Okay, I'll take pictures and post them. So, Makaya said, Dayasham and Dayasham of the Bosan, Miss Dankaya Tadia Bayasha Doyasha, Miss Gayasha. Does anyone have any specific requests? If you do, just flip your camera on and you can activate your mic. Because if there's no specific requests, I'm going to bring it into a closing situation now, okay? Everybody's good. Okay. And you know, if you have requests, you can always direct message me. We can come on here and we can do a private live session at any time, okay? Um, all right. So, Sangeeta, Mariah, Inga. Sharon. Inga! Inga, you just won the live session. Yay! I have a little wheel on my phone, but you can't see it. So, Inga, you get a free live session. So you can message me and we will set that up. Okay? Awesome. That is awesome. All right. So let's bring this to a close. I'm going to come into this with gratitude. And we're going to say thank you to all of our support team that was here with us today. I'm going to close down these connections now. Having released all of these charges and cords ancestrally today, this frees us from all that is not love to receive only purified, unconditional love, so that we send only pure, unconditional love. Hmm. The energy is very calm now. I thank you all for being here today so much. If you want to let me know in the direct message privately um, what you receive from this today, that would be great. Um, Inga, we have your session to set up, so message me directly. Um, whoever that was with the really intense throat chakra, again, I have something additionally for you, so make sure that you message me. And again, I thank you all so much for being here. Namaste. I love you all. And I will see you again soon. Bye. Family, thank you for being here today. If you have something that you would like assistance with and you would like included on the next transmutation ceremony, you can email that to me at gardenportal.com camisfluidart at gmail.com.
www.ghostedmusicgroup.com. Please note in the subject if you would like me to read that or not, and these will be transmuted in the next ceremony. Thank you for being here. Much love to you.